Yellow spinner and non-spinner also. You are on Penstock's channel about pen spinning. My name is Alex Lanz and a while back I've made a reaction on one of my shake learning videos about pen spinning. Obviously, as this is the only thing I'm interested in. And under it, Aritra Sinha, a pen spinner from India, left this comment. Mike Shake is still fine, but Pygmy, oh my god, he doesn't even care how he does, how he dies it. <laughs> Freud in sleep. Okay, smartass, let's see what this mystery is all about. Pygmy pen spinning. Oh, he has made several videos about pen spinning, huh? Okay, learn how to spin a pen in only 5 minutes. Cool skill while bored. Okay, so I've watched the video, have a few concerns about that, will show you my reaction right now. All in all, I have to admit that I don't think that Pygmy's video is much helpful as a tutorial, but he definitely can do tricks which he shows and which he teaches. So in this aspect he is totally legend. During watching this video you might think that sometimes I'm too finicky and uh, maybe you'll be right. Maybe there were a few moments where I was uh, a bit mean. But anyway, I didn't mean to be mean. <laughs> I love when people make pen spinning tutorial videos, not this useless crap from TikTok. Videos that have some explanation, some tips, hints. So in any case, Pygmy's video deserves my like. Do you want to be the coolest ninja in class? Yes. The office wizard? Or just have sure. a fun skill to work on while yes, you're bored please. at home? Bored? Whoever gets bored at home nowadays when there is YouTube. In fact, I don't like when people say that pen spinning is for killing boredom. Maybe in office? In class, yes. But in general it is a good way to spend time, which you can combine with multiple different activities. <coughs> then follow along with me in this video and in only 5 minutes. Is it Pelot G2? Awesome! One of my favorite pens to spin. A really good choice if you are about to learn just a few simple pen spinning tricks with simple pens. I am going to teach you 3 super cool pen spinning tricks you can learn right now. Okay, super cool. But you gotta focus. Damn, that look is intimidating. I'd better really be focused. Who knows what this dude is capable of. Anyway, that sounds and looks promising. I'm really hooked and have prepared my pen. Focused as hell, yes. Awesome. Grab a pen or an unsharp pencil. And yes, this really is Pilot G2. One, the thumb around. Okay. Now it's easy to grasp the concept of this move simply without a pen or a pencil at first. <laughs> Doing the trick without a pen will also be much easier. But if you really want to master pen spinning tricks and become an office wizard, you will need a pen mod. You can make one, a big true mod, I have tutorial for this mod on my channel. Very simple but not ideal tool. Just take your palm, supinate it, which means turn it towards the sky. <laughs> towards which guy? This guy? Then what I want you to do is take your middle finger and your thumb and put the tips together. If you can, of course. That's not the easiest task. <coughs> but if you can't connect middle and thumb, how the hell do you use smartphone? Anyway, bro, I have a video tutorial for you in this case. It is called something like warming up and stretching fingers. Watch it and soon enough you will be able not only connect two fingers, but connect four fingers. What are you waiting for? Link in the description. Now you can do a simple snap motion like you would be snapping your fingers at someone. The motion you are going to use to achieve the thumb around is very similar to that simple snap. Yeah. The only difference is you may want to have your middle this finger is the only difference. slightly more towards the side of your thumb as so. So why exactly should we learn how to snap fingers? This motion has very little in common with snapping. Come on. And just slightly moving fingers. It's like saying, first learn how to spin pen on thumb, then throw it towards this guy. Thumb around is pretty similar to that. Technically it is. Now when you're ready, just like I'm doing in this example, you want to grab your pen or pencil and hold it towards the front there. Towards which exactly? Front and where? I'm sorry, but this moment is unclear. This is so when it spins over your thumb, you'll be able to grab it rather than it flying off. Can anybody explain me this moment? What the f*** does he mean? This position is correct, but that's not what makes you catch pen instead of letting it fly all over the place. Now with your pen in hand and your palm towards the sky, you want oh, to do the same snapping motion with the middle finger towards the side of the thumb, allowing your pen to rotate over your thumb. 
That's Now, it. reason for this not going smoothly, if you're not doing this naturally already, naturally pay attention. Already. So basically, to learn thumb round, you need to let your pen turn around thumb. Thanks for watching, subscribe and stuff. Oh yes, by the way, you don't have to subscribe to my channel, guys, but tapping a like button helps a lot to you small YouTubers. So thanks in advance. You may notice that my index finger points downwards as I do my snap. This allows for the pen to spin over my thumb and so then clear its way back into my grip. So that's really the whole tutorial. The main thing is to learn how to snap fingers and voila, you are an office wizard. So if you notice you're hitting your index finger when your pen's coming around, you want to consciously point your index finger down as you snap your middle finger up towards the side. I don't want to be finicky, but I will. He doesn't snap fingers, he moves them back and forth like that. And that's totally right, he does thumb around 100% correctly. He definitely mastered that trick and Aritra Sinha said that he does them wrong, well, at least not thumb around. Still, as a tutorial video, these instructions are unclear. <laughs> But overall, they are not that bad. I've certainly seen worse tutorials than that. Work on this and go slow at first. It actually doesn't have to be too aggressive to get this pen to spin around, as long as you're holding it towards the front third of the pen. <laughs> so there are two things I don't get. Where is that front there? And who is this this guy? It feels super cool and looks super cool. The thumb yes, around. it does. Enjoy. I remember when I saw this one done by my friend Robin in 12th grade. It blew my mind, but I focused and learned it, and now I'm teaching it to you. Pay attention. Number two, the Sonic. Oh my god. I really like his teasing, but the voice tone makes me uncomfortable. Does he want to make pen spinning sexy? Ladies and gentlemen, they told me come to America. You're gonna see beautiful Sonic. The f I am beautiful. What the f you think? Huh? All of this is sexy. Sassy? Yes. Where? Everywhere. Oh my god. All of it. I wanna go back to my country today. Okay, I want go back to I wanna country. go ride the sheep in the camel. Now take your pen or pencil and hold it in between the ring finger and the middle finger at about the middle of the pen. Not or middle. Pencil. To understand the primary motion we want to achieve, you can simply take the bottom or top of your pen or pencil and rotate it in a circle as so. Well, if you don't really have much to do and you don't plan to learn Sonic, such a rotation would be one little part which might be helpful when you learn charge. 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 I wanna go back to my country today. But charge is another trick which will take you much longer time to learn than Sonic. So it is like going backward. It will be helpful to learn before Sonic, for sure, but if you want to learn just Sonic, charge is not something you want to be focused on. Now to understand the part that will blow people's mind, the pass, but can be easily achieved just by breaking it down. Now as you're doing that spinning motion by grabbing the top or bottom of the pencil, as the bottom of your pencil reaches towards the outside of your pinky, so you, grab you want to bottom or the top middle of your finger, pencil. allowing the bottom of the pencil to pass over the middle finger into the gap between the index yeah. finger and the middle finger. So you're going from between the middle finger and ring finger over to between the index finger and the middle finger, just as so. Now that's pretty much of a clear explanation. Yep, that's a Sonic. The only thing I would recommend it to learn it not like this, but ho keeping your hand holding it palm up or towards this guy. Now, in order to achieve this spinning momentum, we need to learn the simple flick. Yeah, you see what I mean? He says simple flick, but it is not that simple if you hold hand like this. At the same time, if you hold hand at least palm side, you can push pen with two down and let it move down easier, which will allow you to do this circular, this needed cir circular, cir circular, I hate this word circular motion. Palm down Sonic is certainly doable, but will take you much longer time and nerves. Place your pen or pencil back between your ring finger and middle finger. You want to then take the pen or pencil and place the bottom of it above the webbing between your thumb and index finger. From here work on this simple flick that I'm showing, flicking it off of the webbing between the thumb and index finger. Yes, there are also ma this many other things to generate happening. momentum into your spin. 
At first, you can work on just flicking mm -hmm. the pen into the basic spin we showed basic in the spin. first step to this move. Then, when ready, you want to fully attempt the pass. Flick the pen, and as the bottom of the pen reaches around to the side of the pinky, you want to duck the middle finger, allowing the pen to pass over the middle finger into the gap between the middle and index finger, as so. So this is basically an abducting Sonic, and the explanation is much better than it was for thumb around. But abducting Sonic doesn't need you to learn charge, there is an abducting charge as well, and without this thumb flap flicking, which he shows, they are much harder to learn. So you basically don't learn how to do it without abducting, and then with abducting. You learn them in reversed way, so this way is reversed. It is super trippy, but looks super cool. The Sonic. The Sonic. Finally, number three. There may be an official name for this, but I am calling it the Over the Top. Please call it Neo Sonic. by taking your pen or pencil and holding it at about the center between your index finger and middle finger. No, no. Hold it closer to one of its tips. You will thank me later. Now the spin will be over the index finger and then grabbing it with your thumb and index finger. Okay. Now just like the Sonic, to generate momentum for this spin, we want to do the same flicking motion. That's pretty much a unique way to learn new Sonic. Again, to my mind, Pig Me makes things more complicated than they really should be. In fact, you just keep most of weight from outer side of hand, and all you have to do is throw in pen mode or pen by middle finger, at the same time pushing it down with an index finger. This flicking will add way too much extra inertia, which will make this motion more uncontrollable. However, unlike the Sonic, we want the pen to spin up and over the index finger straight just straight around the index finger kind of like how the thumb around went straight around the thumb yep now it also helps to do a slight wrist twist as well after the flick to guide the spin hmm Okay, now this is a really good tip. This wrist motion might be helpful, just ignore this flicking part. And don't get stuck with this wrist motion, it can help to get a concept, but doing trick properly with it will be much harder. If you can't get the pen to spin properly at first, it can really help just to grab the pen in the proper position, do the wrist flick, and actually spin your pen, like twirling a drumstick in the air, and then trying to the grab air? it between the thumb and index finger as shown. Now you can slowly tighten up this throw, bring it closer to that index finger Bro. more and more until it becomes the spin, the up and around. He really throws pen in the air to make new Sonic. Again, I don't understand why he always goes backward from hard part to simple one. Aerial trick variations are always harder than non-aerial. I thought this is obvious. It's like, bro, to learn Twisted Sonic Bust, you have to learn how to do triple Sonic Bust and then reduce two of them. Congratulations. Ooh, feels so good, looks so cool. <laughs> now you it can does. combine yes. these three spins together as shown for a super cool combo. You're a wizard. Nah. You're a ninja. No, 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 no. You're no, not no. bored anymore. No, 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 no. This is not combo. He just makes three separate tricks one after another. No game would count that as a combo. An actual combo of these tricks will look something like this. Let me know in the comments how learning these spins worked out for you. We are going to be learning a ton more skills. Okay, quickly, and there is so outro. Stay tuned. Okay, I think that I enjoyed this video more than I didn't enjoy. <laughs> Can I say like that? Anyway, as I told, I like when people make pen spinning videos. It brings more attention to our hobby. More attention means more people, and more people means more fun. I wish you good luck with all these tricks. Develop your style. Enjoy your failing. Bye.